This mouse battery can last 400 hours. Do you know what you can do in 400 hours? You can walk around Manhattan, the entire island, more than 16 times. That's insane. If you were running at 3.5 miles an hour for that entire 400 hours, you could eat 369 junior chickens and come out calorie neutral. That's how long 400 hours is. SteelSeries sponsored us to unbox the SteelSeries Rival 3 Wireless, which is the wireless update to their very successful Rival 3 mouse. I actually don't have that much experience with SteelSeries mice. I know that there's lots of pro gamers that use the Rival 310 like secretly in renewals on Chaos uh, for Rainbow Six, and they love it. And I've heard only good things about these mice. So inside the box, it's pretty standard. Uh, it's just a little cardboard holder, you get the mouse. And I love that. That's why they can offer this mouse at $49.99. That's an insane price for a good gaming mouse. It's got less than a millisecond delay, 1000 hertz polling rate, all the stuff you need from a gaming mouse. It's got the TrueMove Air sensor, which is a variant on a PixArt 3369, I believe. So it's a, considered a flawless sensor, so you'll never have any problems. Oh, there's already batteries. As you can see, it's a pretty small mouse. I'd say it's comparable to like a 305, kind of a GOG Pro shape more than anything. You pull off this back plate, you get your two battery slots. This one can operate off two AAAs or one. Uh, to get the 400 hours, you need both. And they say that it's less than half with just one, but I'm concerned about weight. So I'm gonna operate it today with just one battery. Perfect. Inside is the wireless dongle receiver for the proprietary Quantum 2.0 technology. That means that this mouse has 2.4 gigahertz technology so that it's basically the same as wired mouse. It's awesome, no delay. But it also has Bluetooth 5.0. So if you're traveling and you don't wanna bring the dongle, just connect it to any Bluetooth compliant device. You're good to go. So I really like that versatility. I think that's really nice. Sometimes mice that are ambidextrous don't really suit me. I find my palm just doesn't have a place to go. But these outward curves actually, I find very comfortable. I like I like to kind of have like a sort of palm, sort of claw grip. So this works for me. I actually like this better than I thought I would. These buttons feel good. They're rated for 60 million clicks, which is really high. Often mice are rated for 20 million, so. They have little indentations on the buttons to kind of have your fingers set in, but it never feels too much. Uh, kind of can move around the mouse pretty easily. The buttons feel nice. The texture feels pretty good. If I have anything bad to say about these buttons, these side buttons are just a little bit small, but that's just a preference thing. I like big chunky buttons for my big chunky thumb. These are, uh, they're not too bad. You can, you can tell which one you're pressing. Uh, you can hit both if, at the same time if you need to. But I like the top buttons a little bit more. They have more play than on other mice I've used, but nothing that would get in the way of getting your shots off. There's a little DPI indicator, there's the mouse wheel, buttons, side buttons. This pleasant, comfortable shape that often doesn't work for me, but this one's actually doing pretty good. On the bottom is the glide pads. They're fairly big, doing their job. And then there's the switch. You have your Bluetooth off and your 2.4 gigahertz. We're gonna be gaming, so we're going right to 2.4 gigahertz. For the 400 rated hours, you need both batteries, and you also need to turn on the power saving mode. So that means that your polling rate goes from 1,000 to 125. That's not great for gaming, but for everything else, for your work, for most games that aren't kind of reflex, that's fine. And 400 hours is pretty insane for a AAA battery. So now that the mouse is plugged in, you can see that there's the RGB on the scroll wheel. I think that's a smart choice for keeping the battery life good. You can have RGB everywhere, but that's obviously gonna eat away at your battery life. So let's see how much it weighs. So according to them, just the mouse is 84 grams with a battery 95 and with two batteries, 101. Uh, but we're gonna test that for ourselves. Let's go zero batteries first. 82, it's lighter than they said. I'm into it, I'm into oh, it. You don't want the dongle when you're operating it. 92. Why would they weigh it with the dongle? Don't they want to make it seem the lightest it could possibly be? They want to be honest. And then 102. So that's a pretty light wireless gaming mouse. At this price point, that's pretty untouchable because even a 305 is more expensive than this. And so if it performs well, if I have no issues with it, I like this shape. Good, good sensor, good buttons. Let's take a look at what this mouse looks like inside of the Steel Series engine software. Wow, there is so many more settings than I expected. This is awesome. 
Man, this is like a tinkerer's dream. Very impressed. You can customize all the buttons. Very nice. You can turn on Bluetooth mode if you want. Uh, you have your different profiles. You can save up to five profiles on the mice. So you can switch between computers and have that saved, which is just a lifesaver sometimes. You can adjust in increments of 100 DPI. You have a sleep timer. Um, I found it really aggressive, so I'm gonna raise it a little bit. You can turn on high efficiency mode, which would lower the polling rate and uh, give you that 400 hours of battery life, but I'm a gamer. I want to live life hard. Live and die hard. So you have your polling rate. I'm gonna keep it at 1,000. Uh, you can change your acceleration and deceleration, but if you're a true gamer, you turn all that off. You want that raw input. Feels smooth, feels like a modern mouse. I like the feel of it. Oh. Yeah, this feels pretty good. Uh, when I lift and slide, it doesn't feel like I'm having any issues. It's like one of those mice you just put in your hand and you're like, yeah, that feels good. And then you start going and it, and it goes. I'm uh, pretty pleased with the feeling of this. Yeah, so far I'm uh, getting a pretty good game feel for this. Snapping onto heads, I'm not, not hating this at all. Overall, I really like this mouse. It feels good uh, in the hand. I like the buttons. It moves the way I want. The sensor is good. It, the price is extremely right. If I was making a roundup of mice, this would definitely be a contender for a great value proposition. Uh, and if you need a big mouse, you have huge hands, this might not be the right fit for you, but if you want a smaller mouse, something that's portable that you can take with you for work, for gaming, uh, has smart design, pretty darn light. This is a really good mouse. I would definitely recommend it. So thanks to Seal Series for sponsoring this short circuit. You can check out this mouse uh, at the link below or check out any of the other short circuits that I've covered mice on. Uh, and goodbye. Bye-bye, beard. Oh, I don't have a beard. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, I shaved it this weekend. Here's the thing. I know at some point Linus is gonna have to shave it and if I shaved it after Linus, people will be like, you're just copying him. So getting ahead of the curve.